Our vaccination program has helped the American economy begin to recover from the worst economic crisis in a century. Over two million new jobs created just in the last four months since I've become president. Now, at the White House direction, Democrats in Congress are making preparations to muscle through a bloated spending bill on a unilateral partisan basis. There's still many states across the country that are shut down, and millions of Americans, in fact, still need help. And if you folks agree with me, that a fourth stimulus check must be sent out. Let's get this video to 1,000 likes. But everybody, President Biden abruptly ended infrastructure talks with Republican senators on Tuesday as Democrats move closer to attempting to pass a bill, a sprawling tax and spending bill this summer without bipartisan support. In a statement, Republican Senator Shelley Moore Capito stated, I spoke with the president this afternoon and he ended our infrastructure negotiations. As Republicans, we believe in our nation's infrastructure, which is why our negotiating team, which consisted of the ranking members from the committees of jurisdiction, consistently worked in good faith with President Biden. The White House said Joe Biden will continue outreach to Republicans and that he spoke Tuesday with Republican Senator Bill Cassidy. But the demise of the Capitol-led talks means it is unlikely a package would have brought bipartisan buy-in. We can't afford to not engage because of what could have been. We engage in the world that we have and we do everything we can to make that world better. We have a choice to make New York City better. We have a choice that is clearly better than privatizing our school system and allowing housing to be built only for the wealthiest people. We have an option. This is an effort to destroy Social Security. Are you going to have confidence in a Social Security administration if they can't respond to your needs? You're going to call up, you're going to wait forever, you're going to say, who needs it? These people can't do their work. And people don't know that the Social Security Administration is understaffed and underfunded. So what is our job? And I want you all to know this. We are very conscious, Bob Casey, Elizabeth Warren, I, many others. When we look right now at this budget situation, the dire circumstance we're in right now, today, literally today. Buddy, be sure to subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends and family. On this channel, I always do my best in providing you with the most up-to-date and reliable stimulus check news. And the president talked about unity and togetherness while reading off a multi-trillion dollar shopping list that was neither designed nor intended to earn bipartisan buy-in. Now, during an interview on CNN, Democratic Representative Jamal Bauman compared Senate Democrat Joe Manchin to Republican Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell for voicing opposition to legislation on voting rights. Representative Bowman stated, Joe Manchin has become the new Mitch McConnell. Now Joe Manchin is doing everything in his power to stop democracy. Madam President, last year our friends across the aisle painted a picture of doom and gloom of what governing with a Republican Senate majority might look like. They forecast unprecedented obstruction, endless stonewalling, and the inability to get anything done. Now, there's no, nothing more popular than the myth that Congress is unable to get anything done. It's pretty popular. The press uncritically reports it, even when it's demonstrably false. But it's safe to say the vision painted by our Democratic colleagues of doom and gloom with a Republican Senate minority of unprecedented obstruction and stonewalling and inability to get things done, well, that hadn't come to pass. Actually, I feel like I'm doing a Washington Post fact check, but over the past few months, Republicans and Democrats have actually worked together to make progress in an, on a number of issues. One, I'm sure the Biden administration would confirm that we've We've been able to confirm a number of nominees for high-ranking positions in the federal government.